experience. I bet. Because my weight has me trapped in this chair all day, every day. And I hate it. All I can do now is eat and sleep. Oh, really? Sometimes days where I'm forced to take a bath, which I really hate doing. Force? Me and my wife Beth live with my mom, my sister, and her fiance, Keith. I force. Hey, if somebody got to force you to take a bath and you got a damn wife. Take a bath. But I try to avoid it as much as I can. Stinking bitch. A fucking bucket? Should nobody have to tell your ass it's damn time to fucking wash? I just rather not deal with everyone being upset with me, so just do it. Maybe once a month. You get your big sour bite ass up and go in there and let somebody rank your ass off. Stinking bitch. And mama, you ain't too fucking far from your daughter. You wore out just going in there taking that goddamn bucket in there. You can't fucking talk. You wobbling all over the goddamn house yourself. No shit. No, that sofa stinking on the son of a bitch. Somebody, somebody gotta make you get your ass up and go in there and wash the fuck off. Man, I be goddamn. What the blur? Where's the fucking blur? Wanna see that shit? And you cool with having to use a damn toilet bowl cleaner to wash your ass off. Just look at this bitch. She's a goddamn big. She tie-dye. You ain't through cleaning yourself off. What kind of fucking bird bath was that? Now you don't walk your ass in there in front of no folks like that. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Look at your damn wife. She holding her fucking head down. I bet she a firefighter. You need to sprinkle some more of that. That ain't a damn enough. That bitch is chased. Oh my God, she looked like she just lifted the seat of a fucking couch. Your body ain't got no business being that goddamn discolorated. Oh really? Look at them goddamn pants. Oh yeah. This I gotta see. Oh, you have some goddamn control. You just ain't got the right motherfucker in there. Look at mama sitting around with that goddamn loaded bagel like that. I bet it do. Look at them fucking pants. Just them. You sitting your ass over there eating that goddamn bagel. Wipe your goddamn mouth sitting over there eating that fucking bagel sandwich like that. Damn pants don't bust over me. You still sitting out feeding your fucking face like that. Your mama ain't no. Now, what the fuck is this? For what? Oh, I want to see this shit. Ain't this a bitch? That better be for everybody in the goddamn house. What in the fuck kind of sandwich is that anyway? I don't give a damn how you grew up. Fuck you and Allie. You don't give a fuck about none of that. 
We up here to help you get well. We can't go back. Just look at this shit, Gina. Slow down! Ain't nobody gonna ask for none of that shit. That's it? That's all he did to you? My daddy stopped a mutt hole in my ass and it didn't make me go eat. My daddy fucked me up. Oh, shit, bitch. That was a compliment coming from my daddy. Daddy let me know every day I wasn't shit. You think I ate myself into a fucking bear? I don't give a fuck. But I will pass this shit. Give a goddamn about none of that. Shit, it's past tense. Send your ass over there. Them folks, on, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And that the goddamn second half of that fucking sandwich, too. Because you had three pieces. 19 and 500 pounds. And I even tried to start to date them. Who? 23 and finally admitted to myself that I liked girls. And I got on a dating site and that's how I met that. When Julie and I first started dating, Gina's personality is what drew me to her. Bet you look like a fuck. Never mind. Love and caring. I've ever said that everybody loves. No, that you love. I loved her and once we made our relationship official, things went really fast. I hope you were washing your stinking ass in. Look at the goddamn curtains they had to use to put that on her. The bed just looks so fucking stupid. It wouldn't be. Just look at all that goddamn body. Just look like the shit they pull off of raw meat. Look just like that shit on pork chop that we snatch off or we throw it in the damn. Let me hush before I fuck around and say something. Because I'm not going to sit here and let you do this shit to me. You ain't going to fuck. You, you're not going to fuck with me today. I hope that fall scratch your goddamn stomach. Send down and ate all that goddamn food like that. Oh, yeah, don't leave no crumbs. Eat them, too. Yeah, you's a stinking bitch. That's why y'all ain't had sex since she been married. You wash your ass off occasionally. Now, I ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, but I know a dyke couple have to lick on each other. Beth ain't finna put her fucking head down there between this sour ass pussy. But I know it has because we stopped being intimate. Beth and I haven't had sex since three years ago. So Go figure. And she always comes up with different excuses. Now, who wanna fuck that? It ain't got nothing to do with your size because I know some motherfuckers who will lift that up and get with it. But you seen your stinking ass over there ain't bathing. Ain't nobody got to put up with that. Don't nobody owe you no fucking. You better get up and wash your ass off if you want to be licked on and stuck or whatever the fuck you in bed do. Look at you. Got a row of fucking cookies, and bitch. What am I? Oh, you a stop. You a fucking stop. Who is Beth? The fucking hell? The hell y'all keep worrying about Beth for? Fiend for your goddamn self. Oh, I'd love to go off in there and get on y'all's ass. Look at you. See your fucking asses in there looking like a goddamn, just like three little pigs. I'd be the big bad wolf and come in there and blow all you bitches down.
What's the big freaking deal? You the big freaking deal, bitch. So now I'm talking to her like that. I wouldn't get you nothing. I wouldn't give you a goddamn thing. Fuck you and your damn mama. I eat before I come home. I swear to God, I come in that bitch balling up a windows bag in you motherfuckers' face. You ain't talk to me like that. Got me all kind of fucked up. You shut the fuck up. You are the goddamn problem. She the problem. You the goddamn problem. Bitch, I, man, listen. Woo! Now why in the fuck y'all suggest this damn episode here? You knew this was gonna run my goddamn pressure up. Hi. Beth, if you gonna be a man, you need to act like it. You need to find you some fucking nuts. Go to that store you bought your dick from and get a pair of nuts. Cause I wanna came in there with shit. I know my family thinks that that's an extreme case, but I know that my weight is an issue that I could change. You goddamn right, your weight is an issue. Now look at that, three fucking plates, man. Beth, I hope you twist your goddamn ankle. What is that? But at the same time, I know my body's in bad shape, and it's getting worse every day. Just look at this, man. Getting bigger. Now die because I didn't stop eating. Oh, that's it. Now, just Feed her all that shit there. You know, Y'all know, know it. Y'all know what I'm about. I hope it choked the hell out of her. Type of bitch go in the restaurant and order everything on the menu except for a thank you come again. Gina has a hard time getting out of the house. Man. She ain't, yeah, in a fucking huge way. It's really hard. And now she's just secluded herself from everyone. And she's just been in the house. Lord, her must buy tea to goddamn. I know at this point, unless I lose weight, that I don't have much of a future now. You goddamn right. You ain't got much of nothing. You done ate it away. Look at mama sent her ass over there. You ain't far from her. You just a bite away. Both of y'all done ate your damn neck away. Where's your fucking chin? You need to quit worrying about your daughter. Both of y'all about to damn die. You sitting there like you my size. Like you just got room to talk. Let me get out this damn thing.